the Staffer motor with built-in radio receiver model RX3 can be controlled either only by radio transmitter or by both radio transmitter and a wall-mounted push-button switch. In case you would like to control it only by radio transmitter, you need to connect only the blue wire, the brown wire and the ground. In this case, the black wire and the grey wire are not to be connected to anything. In case you would also like to use a push button switch, you need to connect all the wires in this way. After mounting the motor and fastening the rolling shutter, proceed as follows. Remember that each operation can be done with both the 596TX radio transmitter and the 595TX100 symbol radio transmitter. Radio transmitter memorization. Remember that if there are more than one motor, they must be connected to the power supply and memorized only one at a time. Otherwise, there is the risk of memorizing more than one motor in the same radio transmitter. When you connect the motor to the power supply for the first time, it makes four small upward or downward movements. If the movements were upwards, press the up button immediately afterwards. If they were downwards, press the down button. Once the button has been pressed, the motor confirms with short movement. The procedure is over. Warning. It is essential to remember that after the four initial movements, you need to press the up or down button within 15 seconds, otherwise the motor exits the programming mode with four small movements without having memorized anything. In this case, it is necessary to start all over again, disconnecting and reconnecting the motor to the power supply. Pay attention, because until a radio transmitter has been stored in the memory of the motor, each and every time it is disconnected and reconnected to the power supply, it will make the four memorization movements, waiting for a radio signal. Once you have stored a radio transmitter in the memory of the motor, then you can disconnect and reconnect the power easily, because the motor will no longer perform any memorization procedure and the radio transmitter will remain memorized forever, without any problem. Slat tilting function that is micro-moving the mover in small twitches. This function is very useful in lower rolling shutters because it allows, with the appropriate buttons, to tilt the slats according to your needs or to adjust the shutter precisely. This function is already active and is set to level 2, which provides for smaller and more precise movements. You can change the precision level or deactivate the function by setting it to level 1. To do this, proceed as follows. Move the shutter to an intermediate position. Briefly press the menu button on the back of the radio transmitter. Two dash marks appear on the display. Press down 7 times. 07 appears on the display, which is the number of the function. Now press stop, the motor signals with an up-down movement. Press up, the motor signals with as, as many movements as the number of the current setting value, that is 2 as per factory setting. It may be possible to set up to level 5, but the micro movements will be wider. For example, set level 3. Now press stop and the shutter will indicate the new value with small movements, in this case 3. Briefly press the menu button to exit. Finished. The same function can also be activated on the 595TX100 simple radio transmitter. Move the shutter to an intermediate position. Quickly press the hidden proc button on its back 3 times, letting the red LED light up. Then press down 7 times. Press stop and the motor signals with an up-down movement. Press up and the motor signals with as many movements as the number of the current setting value. Press up as many times as the 
number of the desired setting value. For example, set level 3. Press stop and the motor signals with an up-down movement. Press the PROC button three times to exit the function. Finished. Now, in order to operate the motor in small twitches, just briefly press stop two times and then keep press the up or the down button. In case the rolling shutter is also controlled by a well-mounted push button, it is possible to micro-move the motor in small twitches by quickly pressing one time in one direction and then immediately holding down the button in the same direction. Inversion function of the direction of rotation that is inverting up with down in case of mistakes during memorization. This function is very useful in rolling shutters when you make a mistake when memorizing the radio transmitter and you end up with the motor going upwards when you press down on the radio transmitter and vice versa. To avoid resecting everything and doing the memorization all over again, all you have to do is enter the appropriate function 05. Initially, move the shutter to an intermediate position. Briefly press the menu button on the back of the radio transmitter. Two dash marks appear on the display. Press down five times. 05 appears on the display, which is the number of the function. Now press stop. The motor signals with an up-down movement. To reverse the direction of rotation, press up. The motor signals with an up-down movement. Briefly press menu to exit. Finished. The same function can also be activated on the 595TX100 radio transmitter. Move the shutter to an intermediate position. Quickly press the hidden proc button on its back three times, letting the red light light up. Then press down five times. Now press stop. The motor signals with an up-down movement. To reverse the direction of rotation, press up. The motor signals with an up-down movement. Press three times the PROC key to exit the function. In case the rolling shutter is also controlled by a well-mounted push button, you can perform all these functions by the push button. See the instruction manual you can download from the Staffer website. Changing the push button switch logic. As per the factory settings, immediately after the motor has been installed, the wall mounted push button always operates in pulse mode. That is, you just need to briefly press it one time and the motor moves to the limit position. To stop this operation, you just need to briefly press any one of the two buttons. However, it is possible using function number 04 to change the logic of the push button switch, transforming it into MAND mode. In this case, you need to keep the button pressed with your finger and as soon as you leave it, the motor stops. To turn the button into MAND mode, first move the shutter to an intermediate position. Briefly press the menu button on the back of the radio transmitter. Two dash marks appear on the display. Press down four times. Zero 04 appears on the display, which is the number of the function. Press stop. The motor indicates the current value. That is one time down for pulse mode. To select manned mode, press up. To return to pulse mode, press down. The rolling shutter indicates the new value with a small upward movement for the manned mode or one downward movement for the pulse mode. Briefly press menu to exit. Finished. The same function can also be activated on the 595TX100 radio transmitter. Move the shutter to an intermediate position. Quickly press the hidden proc button on its back three times, letting the red LED light up. Then press down four times. Press stop. The motor indicates the current volume that is one time down for pulse mode. To select manned mode, press up. To return to pulse mode, press down. The rolling shutter indicates the new value with a small upward movement for the manned mode or one downward movement for the pulse mode. 
press the PROC button three times to exit the function. You can perform all these functions through a well-mounted button. See the instruction manual you can download from the Staffer website. Cloning of radio transmitters After associating a radio transmitter to a motor, it is possible to clone it on other radio transmitters of the same type or of a different type, so that all the radio transmitters can operate the same rolling shutter. It is essential that the radio transmitters are Staffer branded and have the same frequency. Cloning is very simple, just stand in front of the rolling shutter with the associated radio transmitter already working, select the corresponding channel if necessary, move it to an intermediate position and briefly press the PROC button on the back of the radio transmitter. The rolling shutter makes two small upward movements. Now take the new radio transmitter with the empty memory and press stop or up. The rolling shutter makes two small movements and from now on both radio transmitters will operate it. Of course, it is also possible to clone a model 595TX100 radio transmitter that has already been memorized by pressing the hidden PROG button on its back and after the rolling shutter has made one movement by pressing the stop or up button on any other radio transmitter. You can also delete one of the cloned radio transmitters. Simply carry out the same cloning procedure, pressing up after the two movements. The previously working radio transmitter will be deleted. Cloning between a wide variety of Staffer radio devices is possible. Reset by radio transmitter. It is possible to reset by radio transmitter both the motors with built-in radio receiver RX3 and electronic motors RX E3. Move the rolling shutter to an intermediate position. With the 596 radio transmitter, briefly press the menu button on its back. Two dash marks appear on the display. Press up two times and down nine times. 29 appears on the display, which is the number of the function. Press stop. The motor makes six double movements. Wait for the rolling shutter to stop and right away press up two times. The rolling shutter signals with the movement. Press menu to exit. Now everything is reset. With the 595TX100 radio transmitter there is a similar procedure. Move the rolling shutter to an intermediate position. Quickly press the hidden PROC button on its back three times, letting the red LED light up. Then press up two times and down nine times. Press stop. The motor makes six movements. Wait for the rolling shutter to stop and right away press up two times. The rolling shutter signals with the movement. Now everything is reset. In case there is no memorized and working radio transmitter, you need to reset the system by wire or, if present, by the wall-mounted push-button switch. For the reset by wire, first switch off the power supply. Connect the black wire and the grey wire to the brown wire of the motor and then connect all the three of them to the face of the wiring system. The blue wire remains connected to the neutral of the wiring system. Switch the power supply back on again. The rolling shutter makes six small movements to indicate that the radio transmitter and all other possible settings have been deleted. To start the memorization again, switch the power off and on again. In case the rolling shutter is also controlled by a wall-mounted push button, you can perform the reset by the push button. See the instruction manual you can download from the Staffer website. Replacement of a radio transmitter that is no longer functioning. If you need to replace a radio transmitter that is no longer functioning with the new one that you have just purchased, you can proceed in different ways depending on the situation at hand. The first option, which is also the simplest and the quickest, can only be implemented if the motor is also controlled by a well-mounted push-button switch. If, however, there is no button, 
An electrician must be called in and a temporary button must be installed as shown in the wiring diagram. Then, in both cases, proceed as follows. Move the shutter to an intermediate position. Switch off the power supply for a few seconds and then switch it back on again. Within 15 seconds, briefly and quickly press the button 3 times up and 3 times down. The motor makes a short up-down movement. Within 15 seconds, briefly press the button one time up and one time down. Wait for about 10 seconds. The motor makes a double movement. Now press the stop or up button on the radio transmitter. The motor confirms the memorization with a double upward movement. All the settings previously memorized on the motor remain unchanged. Finished. If there are difficulties in installing a button, then it is necessary to reset the motor as described previously and proceed with the initial memorizing of the new radio transmitter.